morning children welcome to our grammar class uh, so last class what we did uh, we did a composition isn't it uh, so today we are continuing that chapter that is tense okay mm? so the next tense we have we want to study is present continuous tense mm? so we already studied what is present simple present tense what is simple past tense and what is simple future tense isn't it uh, so today we are going to study what is present continuous tense okay uh, so what is present continuous tense yeah present continuous tense means the action uh, that are happening now mm? the things that is happening now the things that are happening now that is called present continuous tense understood the actions mm? Mm? that what i am doing now i am teaching isn't it i am teaching and what you are doing you are listening isn't it huh? so at that time at the board that that moment what you are doing huh? that is written in present continuous tense okay so we'll see how we have to write present continuous tense and what are the rules for that hmm? Hmm? so what is the rule subject you know what is the subject in a sentence huh? subject plus is am or are is am or are plus verb plus ing plus object hmm? uh, if you see this you will get confused huh? when you write a sentence it is very easy understood huh? so subject plus is am or are plus verb plus ing hmm? that is for example varun is crossing the road varun is crossing the road here which is the subject here who is the subject varun is the subject so varun is singular so what we have to use in present tense i told you ah uh, if it is a singular we have to use is isn't it varun is varun is is so we are adding is ah uh, is crossing the road cross means what crossing is the verb here ing form of the verb so we have to use ing with the verb understood so crossing the road crossing the road so varun is crossing the road understood so you have to remember we have to add is am or are plus ing form of the verb understood a uh, next sentence so is is used where is is used if it is a singular and as a singular person or you can use with he she or it he she or it plus singular verbs understood uh, then am am is used where am is used where can you know i am i with i we use am hmm? i am teaching isn't it i am teaching understood next are where we have to use are ah uh, with sing with plural isn't it ah uh, with plural with you they ah uh, and with plural forms we use what are understood hmm? next sentence i am going to the park right now now means at present i am doing that huh? so we have to use i i am i am going with ing form of the verb hmm? to the park right now understood next sentence we are playing football we we so we have to use what are we are so we are playing football we are playing football understood huh so you have to use subject plus is am or are plus ing form of the verb understood so the present continuous tense is used and the action that is happening right now what are the things that is happening now there you have to use what present continuous tense understood children Ah, uh, so I'll give you some more examples. Look 
किया माय सन इज टॉकिंग ऑन द फोन राइट नाउ सो माय सन सन इज व्हाट सन इज सिंगुलर इज इट इट सन इज सिंगुलर सो वी हैव टू यूज इज अंडरस्टूड अ सन इज टॉकिंग अ वर्ब प्लस आईएनजी टॉकिंग ऑन द फोन राइट नाउ now he is doing so we have to use simple uh, past perfect continuous tense understood next my kids are playing in the garden now huh? my kids are playing in the garden now so kids kids is what ah uh, kids is plural form so we have to use are we have to use are understood kids are playing in the garden now understood next i am washing my face at the moment i am washing i am washing my face right now at that moment sanya is watching television so she is watching the television now so sanya is because sanya is singular so we have to use is huh? he is watching television understood children so uh, to identify Present continuous tense. You will be having now or uh, at at the moment. Hmm? So if it is said it is now or at this moment and all, I uh, should use what present continuous tense. Understood. So it is happening now. So that we have to use present continuous tense. Understood. Hmm? If the sentence is given, ah, uh, my son is dash. My son is dash on the phone right now. Here it will be given talk. Ah, uh, so you have to write this. So how will you write? Ah, uh, here it is given now. So it is present continuous tense. Now, so you have to add ah, uh, my son he is is there talk talk plus ing. So you have to use what talking. Understood? Ah, uh, so if the question is come comes like this. you have to know which tense is that so if it is there now or uh, mom at this moment and all you have to use what present continuous tense understood children like this we have also past continuous tense past continuous tense understood a uh, present continuous tense and past continuous tense study past continuous tense so past continuous tense means the action that went on for sometimes in the past understood the action that went on sometime in the past so it lasts for sometime in the past that we have to write it present continuous tense understood so we have to use in this in all continuous tense we have to use what ing form of the verb understood in present continuous also we have to use ing and in the past continuous also we have to use ing understood Uh, so the rule is subject plus was or were. So I told you in the past tense we have to use was or were, isn't it? Ah, uh, so subject plus was or were plus were plus ing. Understood? Ah, uh, subject plus was or were. Where we have to use was? Was is used with ah uh, he, she, or it. And with singular forms, we have to use was. And where you, we, they, and also with plural forms, we have to use were. Understood? Ah, huh? so subject plus was or were plus were plus ing. Now look here. I was studying for my exam. I was studying. Ah, huh? so we have to use I was. I is singular. So we have to use was. What we have to use? We have to use was. Uh, I was studying for my exam. The kids were playing in the garden when it suddenly began to rain. So what were they doing? Ah, uh, they were playing. So kids is sing plural form. So we have to use what were playing. Understood? Kids is singular. Plural form, so we have to use were playing. Understood? Ah, huh? so in the past continuous tense, we have to use subject plus 
was or were. Was is used with singular he, she or it and also where is used with plural form. Understood? A plus verb plus ing. I hope you understood what is present continuous and past continuous. Understood? Uh, so that's all for this day. So if you have any doubt, uh, I'll explain to you. Uh, uh, you can call me and I'll explain to you. Uh, so do the exercise given in the textbook. Okay? That's all for this day. Thank you and have a great day.